Hey, what's up? This is Udulena from Udulena Digital and today we're talking about Google Ads optimization score and how to use it to make your campaigns better. Welcome to my channel. My name is Udulena. Every Sunday I come with a new video, so if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Thanks to all of you who recently joined. We are now over 500 subscribers, which is super great. And I've been really motivated by the growth of the channel recently. Today, I want to talk about ads again. So I've been focusing a lot on book reviews, uh, but some of you are missing my ads videos. So here I go. I'm back with a video on optimization score. So for those of you who have used a little bit Google ads, you might have seen uh, something called recommendations. So on the side of your menu, you will have a tab which is called optimizations and where if you click on this one, you see something called optimization score. So this is basically a score which is rating how much of the optimizations which Google is suggesting to you, you are applying. Important note, optimization score has nothing to do with your quality score. So this can be quite confusing. Optimization score is literally showing how, what percentage of the recommendations that Google is providing you, you're accepting. Your quality score is something completely different. This is basically reflecting the quality of the keyword and how well connected it is to your ad and to your landing page. So if you are accepting more of the optimization score recommendations, it does not mean that your quality score on keywords is going to increase there two completely different things. Uh, in the past, actually, this used to be called the opportunity tab and it used to be much worse than what it is today. A lot of these recommendations are suggested by Google Ads based on machine learning, the performance of your keywords, your clicks. At the moment, this is only available for search and shopping. And typically, the more recommendations you apply, the better performance you see. However, not all of the recommendations will be good for you. And there are a lot of advertisers that actually avoid applying recommendations directly from Google. There are different reasons for that. Some of them don't trust them. Some of them think that this is actually something not applicable or they know better. Uh, however, I can tell you from experience, the recommendations have been improving so much and have been suggesting a lot of smart ideas that otherwise you wouldn't come up with what can you actually do with the recommendations? So once you click there, you have different clusters of recommendations. So you can select, for example, ads and extensions, and you will see recommendations on missing responsive search ads or missing extensions or uh, creating a new ad variation or adding a dynamic search ad. If you haven't watched my video on responsive search ads and smart creatives, you can watch it here. Other than that, you have other recommendations like bids and budget. Advertisers were very cynical about them because they used to be just uh, prompting you to raise your budget. Uh, however, now you see actually recommendations to lower your budgets when these campaigns are actually not performing that well. You see recommendations to actually move budget from one campaign which is not performing that well to another one which is already reaching its daily limit and is bringing a lot of conversions. Uh, you can use also uh, the recommendations here to apply different smart bidding solutions. If you haven't watched my video on smart bidding, you can check it here. We'll give you an actual estimation on what will be the potential uplift when you apply, how much more you're going to pay, how many more conversions you're going to get at what cost per, per conversion. So you have this really useful simulation. Ones that are very useful, these are the repairs. So if you're missing keywords, if you have ads, uh, ad groups without ads, if uh, for some reason you're missing conversion tracking, it will flag these out to you and you'll be able to either dismiss them or you can take an action or the next step. Uh, also recommendations based on keywords. So adding more keywords, removing keywords that have very low volume, that have never had an impression, add more different match types so you can expand your audience. So all these recommendations are super useful, some of them more than others, and you know your account best, but I would definitely recommend you to keep an eye on them. They get refreshed every day, and it's all based on real-time learning. So actually what's really great is that there is a website where you can test recommendations without having a Google Ads account yourself. So they will not show up if you're not spending anything in your account, if your account is not live. So if you don't have a live account and you're just learning now, you can actually see in a demo how the recommendations tabs uh, look like and uh, what you can do with it. So let me show you how this is done. 
So here you can learn about the different options. So to get this website, you just type in optiscore.gamification.website uh, and you will see this menu. So here from the drop down, you can choose actually what type of recommendation you want to apply. So let's say I want to apply a budget recommendation. I submit budget. And here you go, you have a start to find where this recommendation is. Let's start. You go to the recommendations tab and then you see bids and budgets. So you can either click bids and budgets or you can just directly see that there is a recommendation to raise your budgets because you're going to get uh, 51 clicks. Hmm, let's check this recommendation. What does it say? Okay, your ad stopped running on your busiest days. And there you have a potential optimization score of five points. So it will contribute to this score over here. The more, uh, the more actually recommendations you accept, the higher your score is going to be. Uh, so here what you can do is you can examine, you can choose how much you want to raise your budget. So here you have estimations of clicks, so how much your average CPC will be, weekly cost. So let's say I don't want to go with 13, I'm going to go with 7. Oh, it doesn't allow me, but in the real one you can. Uh, so here I decide to apply this recommendation, so what I do is just click apply. And here you go, I'm done. If you want to try another recommendation, you can just refresh and you can get another one. So let's say, let's try responsive search ads. So I had a video about responsive search ads, which you can watch. So here, where quite conveniently, you can get a recommendation about the responsive search ads that you're missing. So you get to the recommendations. So you can see that our score has gone bigger now. Uh, so we look for responsive search ads. Here is the responsive search ads or you can just click on ads and extensions and it will find all the recommendations that are related to ads and extensions. So you have several different ones like creating new ads, like adding uh, different uh, site links, remarketing features. So here I want to add responsive search ads. So I have three recommendations. So what I can do is I can check out these recommendations. So I can see, I don't see the ads themselves, but I can see what kind of campaigns um, they are actually uh, recommended for and the estimations of how much more impressions and clicks I can get, what's my previous weekly cost. Uh, so what I can do is I can view the ad. So here it is. So basically what happened is actually Google pulled out some uh, headlines directly from my existing ads, from extensions like site links and callouts, or also from my landing pages, and created like a basic uh, ready ad. So what I can do is I can edit it here. So I can just add, let's say, instead of clothes, my happy, my happy onesies, whatever, uh, and I can apply the the uh, recommendation directly. Or I can cancel that and what I can do is I can download actually all these recommendations in a spreadsheet. So sometimes you might have a lot of different recommendations. You can download them and easily uh, basically have a spreadsheet where you can edit all the content. Maybe you can uh, attach them to other ad groups as well. And what you can do after that is you can upload all the changes directly through Google Ads Editor if you're using that one. Or let's say you can go through each of these, view the recommendation, check out if you're happy with it. Here on the side you have the ad strength which shows you like how good the ad is. So the more actually headlines you actually add, uh, the higher your recommendation is going to be. So let's say uh, free shipping. So here my ad strength is, should be going higher, but I think this is just a demo, that's why. Uh, so what I can do is I can just hit apply all, let's say view the recommendations and I can just quickly apply them and that's it. Great, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching, please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next Sunday with another video.